Welcome back to the snowy channel. It's a little bit snowy. Talked to you before about the most nervous thing I do on a daily basis when I go down to the fish room. Slightly snowier trip today, but I realised yesterday I haven't actually been fretting about it so much, so I think that means Mega Tank must be done. Obviously it's a snow day today, but I work from home so I don't get a day off. I want to play in the snow. Anyway, off we go. See, normally that would be a sight to make me nervous that it's damp there, but I think it's just because it's been snowing so much, so let's open the door and see what happens. Yay! Camera's all steamed up. <laughs> but my concern has always been that Mega Tank, which has proved to be a leaky boy in the past, had failed and flooded the garage out for me. But it hasn't happened. It's held up well. It's been a long time now. So I think, touch wood, we're ready to call it done. So Mega Tank, for those that don't know, is my DIY plywood built tank. It's eight foot by four foot by three foot. And it's been a bit of a challenge, I've got to be honest. You can go back and look at the playlist, I'll stick something up in the corner, you can have a look at the previous problems, but now all is good, all is working. Current inhabitants, we've got the tilapia down on the right there and the giant snake head, the emperor snake head on the left. These two are learning how to get along with each other, but no major problems. We have a few spats, but as you can see, if you've been following along, I have added some decoration. So we've got a few pots with plants, wood structures, places for them to hide, break up lines of sight, that kind of thing, just to get out of each other's hair, so to speak, for a little while. And I'm pretty happy with how things are going. It's just looking like exactly what I had planned it to be almost a year ago. In terms of plants, I've added some pots just filled with gravel and some Limnophilia sessiflora, my favourite growing like a weed plant. Uh, purely because I wasn't sure whether these guys would just eat up all the plants, but they've completely ignored it other than to hide behind it or just take a little interest. They haven't eaten it or anything like that. So I've got a couple of pots of that. Stuff grows like a weed. It's great stuff for filling out some spaces. And then in this corner, I've got a little bit of hornwort. Um, same thing, just some clay pots with some gravel to hold it down. These plants are kind of water column feeders rather than root feeders or underground feeders. Uh, I know what I'm trying to say. So they should do well. In terms of stocking, we've got these guys, but this is a big tank for just two fish. And while there are still some signs of aggression, I want to get more fish in there to split that up a little bit. So I'm just waiting for the right thing. I've not made any decisions. I'm not going targeting any sp specific species to say, I'm only going to keep this. I don't know. Ultimately, I want to keep the Oscars because I've got the Oscars in the fish room, um, but they're just a little bit too small to put in there now. Um, so that's a, a watching brief on them to see what I put in there ultimately. I suppose we should formally introduce the fish. This is just fish. It doesn't have a name. <laughs> it's my very beautiful tilapia. But this guy up here, this is Gordon. Say hello, Gordon. We named him on one of my live streams. Shameless plug coming up. Friday night, 9pm UK time, we do a live stream. Come and join us have a chat, ask any of your fishy or even non-fishy questions. But this is Gordon, the Emperor Snakehead. He's just over two foot long, I think. Or there or thereabouts. And he, he's quite awesome. So, as you may have noticed, this is my desk. This is my office. And even after all this time, I still maintain the best thing in here is this swivelly chair. The thing that makes me want to spend as much time as I can down here Makes all the tanks run smoother, makes the fish health better because I notice any problems straight away. Just everything works. Now, if I could just get rid of the job element of this and just have this as a fun experience. Gordon sits on my shoulder here while I'm working at my desk. He might be a spy. But he literally sits here all day long. He's really fun to interact with. He, he's, he will swim around a bit, but he always comes back to this spot. And it does look like he's just watching my laptop to see what's going on. 
might need to put them on the payroll soon. So while there's loads of things still to be upgraded and stuff, this is my office. I've got my little desk here, I've got my comfy chair, and I can spin around and look at all my other fish tanks. Just wanted to make a little video as a marker of this is where I'm finally happy that Mega Tank is done. It'll never be done done, but it's done as much as it's a working, functioning aquarium. We built the tank, we fixed the leaks, we built the sump underneath here, we've added some fish, we've added some decoration, We'll work on getting all the, the niceties and making it look pretty, but it holds water, it functions as an aquarium. It provides a good environment for the fish. The fish are feeding, the fish are happy. I'm happy because I get to sit and do my work with these guys on my shoulder. I can do my live streams from here as well, it's great. So we've got everything functioning. All will be improved over the months and years to come, but for now, it all looks good. There's the Oscars. That one's getting it to the right size, but the other two are a little bit smaller. Not quite ready for the big tank. So just a quick one today. Just wanted to set this marker down as Mega Tank being good and ready and done. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Um, we will do a full overview of everything from build to cost to errors to what not to do. Just want to take a little time to celebrate that it's actually working. For me and Gordon, thank you for watching. See you on Friday at 9pm UK time. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!